And it's time to grab your most festive Christmas costume or workout gear this weekend to help find a cure for arthritis at the Jingle Bell Run. This annual event offers up fun for the entire family. Caitlin Roberts with the Arthritis Foundation here in Richmond is here with us this morning with details. Caitlin, it's great to meet you. Good morning, Jessica. Thank you for having me. This is a really, really cool event. We were talking this morning before we got started and you're really on track to have the biggest attendance yet you're hoping for. Yeah, we're on track to have about um, 600 plus runners the Jingle Bell Run this Saturday. It's very, really exciting. It's fun for the entire family in what way? How do we come out and enjoy the day? Well, I think everybody enjoys dressing up in costumes. I do at least. Last year I brought my Shih Tzu Matilda as St. Nicholas in her little Santa costume. Wait, wait, wait. St. Nicholas. <laughs> yes, St. Nicholas. Okay. So we have, um, everyone enjoys dressing, not everyone, but at least I do, dressing their animals up. Um, and costumes. Holiday Barn Pet Resorts is our um, pet costume contest sponsor. So we have lots of canines as well as um, a human costume contest. And it's a, f a family um, friendly event. We have a kids reindeer dash for kids five and under and a kids run um, for children um, five through 15. And then also children are welcome to do the 5K with their um, family members and strollers are welcome. It's a very accessible race. You really do have all parties of the family considered. I try to cover it all, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So folks that are signed up are coming out. This is a benefit and it makes a big difference here in our community too. It does. Um, here in Virginia, there are 7,200 children with juvenile arthritis. And there's over actually 50 million Americans suffering from arthritis, and it is the leading cause of disability in the United States, costing our economy $156 billion annually in lost wages and medical expenses. So the work that we do through the Jingle Bell Run and also our Walk to Cure Arthritis helps us fund um, life um, life breaking research and um, resources for people with arthritis to be able to handle um, the pain on a daily basis and overcome it. Our mission is to be a champion of yes because arthritis can induce a spirit of no when if you're in pain, I myself have had arthritis for seven years, it can really affect your overall mood and attitude, but we're trying to help reframe that dialogue for people and give them um, hope that we can find a cure and help live productive lives. And a network like this, having an event like this, allows you to come out and meet other people who may be struggling, may be suffering, and it, it probably gives you an immense amount of support. It does. We um, have a strong juvenile arthritis um, community as well as um, these events provide an opportunity for people with arthritis to come together and to share stories as well as um, we have a strong online community support groups that people can um, utilize and um, we have a strong social media presence as well. And you've mentioned um, juvenile arthritis mm -hmm. a few times and you uh, folks watching today may be looking at you thinking well she does not exemplify what I would think <laughs> of for arthritis and that's that's simply not the case. No, it's not actually. Um, arthritis affects kids as young as two months of age, and I love um, being able to promote the, our story of our adult honoree, Nikki, who was 28 when she developed rheumatoid arthritis, and her daughter actually was born um, three months premature because of the methotrexate drug that she was taking, which is a chemotherapy drug and her baby had developed arthritis as well as cystic fibrosis as consequences of um, Nikki's arthritis. And then Nikki's 11-year-old daughter was recently diagnosed with juvenile arthritis. So it's very interesting disease that can run in the family. It can strike randomly. Um, it can cause your organs to shut down. It can cause you to go blind. Um, for instance, you know, Virginia Eye Institute is one of our sponsors because juvenile arthritis can lead to uveitis, which is inflammation of the eyes, which does cause blindness. So it's immensely more systematic than people may realize. It is, but it's not as, um, it's not very, it's not a catastrophic disease, it's chronic. And it, um, people's attention spans are short, and that's why it's difficult for us to continue to raise awareness because it is such a complex disease. It's hard for people to wrap their minds around it. And in a way, we've talked about the whole family being able to enjoy the day of fun. Mm -hmm. This disease affects the whole family in many ways. It does, but um, the Jingle Ball Run is a great event because you know exercise is an excellent um, treatment for arthritis. So just to be able to move and um, stay active is one of the best um, treatments that we recommend, as well as you know with everything going on and 
you know, society, it's just fun to be able to celebrate something and to be silly and to be festive. And it really helps raise people's spirits. Caitlin, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Jessica. Appreciate it. Candace Burns is going to be the MC out at the event. The Arthritis Foundation's Jingle Bell Run and Walk is happening this Saturday, December 3rd. The Kids Reindeer Dash starts at 8.30 a.m. The 5K Run Walk begins at 9 a.m. at Mary Mumford Elementary School on Westmoreland Avenue. For all the details, we'll have a link on our show website, wtvr.com slash vtm.